How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. The title of today's video is How to Become a Leader, What Trump Taught the World, but it's actually based on an article that I wrote a long time ago, which was How to Become a Leader, What Hitler Taught the World. It's not my intent to discuss politics here, but if Donald Trump has done anything well, I think many of us will agree that he has done a great job of implementing some of the ideas that I will be discussing in the post. The purpose of this video is just to raise some awareness among people who would like to be a leader of some sort, to make you aware of the responsibility you will have, and to question what your true motives are and the possible consequences of your message, to possibly rethink what it means to be a leader, do you even need to be a leader? Because once you begin to shout loudly, people will start to listen, you will begin to convince others, and in doing so, will convince yourself as well. But first, here's a quote by Albert Einstein that I like. Everyone should be respected as an individual, but no one idolized. All right, now let's move on to Hitler's three principles to become a leader to the masses. One, say anything with enough conviction. Does not matter if it is true. If said with enough conviction, it will become true. In his autobiography, Hitler basically says that people are in search of conviction. They are not interested in the truth. Many intelligent people who were able to think sanely and rationally simply became dumbfounded by the conviction of Hitler's message. Two, repetition. Pick a message you want to spread and keep on saying it everywhere and all the time with the utmost conviction. Three, stay only two feet ahead of your followers. Your followers tell you what they want, just listen to them and give it to them with enough emphasis so they will continue to follow you. But don't get too far ahead though because then they will not be able to understand you. So just be watchful of where the crowd is going the mood of the people, and just be a little bit ahead of it. Then the crowd will get the sense that you are leading. So just be a little alert. The crowd is always shouting what it wants. What do our politicians do? They simply hear what the crowd wants and then shout it back loudly with promises that they will give them what they want. The people really don't actually believe that the promises will be fulfilled just that the politician goes on promising, goes on listening to their problems. Because politics, after all, is not about change, but about keeping things the same. People are very forgetful in just a few years, and they forget what they even asked for. So what happens when the crowd becomes a little agitated and calls out their leaders? The politicians simply then just make bigger promises and on we go with the madness. Is this beginning to sound a little familiar? Here are a few recent examples. With President Trump, his message with conviction, change. Repetition, make America great again, his primary message, among many other classics. President Obama, his message with conviction, change. Repetition, change you can believe in. These are all very beautiful slogans that people fall in love and become identified with. So why do these principles work? One, people need certainty. People don't know what life is all about or insert any problem a leader says he can fulfill and then they come along and say, hey, I know, follow me. So if you don't know, you think, well, at least I can follow this person then maybe one day I will know too. You are then relieved of a great psychological burden. Now, when you belong to a huge group, with anyone you encounter outside of the group, you will then become suspicious of them. If you're not in our group, well, that just means that you don't know. You're not one of us. Two, people are lost. We all know that life can be extremely hard and complex and most leaders deep down are just as lost. They have just learned to hide it better. Three, 
People need hope. People desperately want to believe, and a leader is always there to provide it. 4. People have doubts about everything. If you can be part of the crowd, you will be protected from your doubts. At least it gives that appearance. But if you do just a little digging, you will see they are still there. Now, the potential pitfalls of being a leader. You have such a big crowd that follows you that naturally you feel that whatever you are doing is right. You may never again question where you are headed. If you are right and you have a huge following, if you are not careful, you will then begin to feel that you are superior to your followers. It will then become a vicious circle. The leader needs his followers and the followers need their leader. Both are lost without the other. Now, the pitfalls of being a follower. You never take full responsibility for your life because you will always have someone that you can blame. You will always see some outside entity as the authority in your life. You then become dull and uncreative. So don't be a leader or a follower. Learn to stand on your own two feet. The ultimate authority must always rest with the individual's own reason and critical analysis. That's a quote by the Dalai Lama. You don't need to be part of a crowd. People in the past needed a crowd because it was part of survival. Society started because of it. All the old religions became powerful because of this. The whole family structure was built because of the basic need to survive. You can now choose to be an individual if you want. You need to accept total responsibility for your life. You need to embrace the uncertainty of life. This means that you will need to go through an inner transformation and make a sincere effort in really finding out what it means for you to be an individual, to break free from all the traditions of the past. If you can live a life built from your own understandings, a life of authenticity, you don't need to be a leader and you don't need to have any followers. Sure, you can be part of groups at work, to share and to contribute with people, but you don't need to be fanatically committed to any type of organization or nation. You don't need to manipulate others. Hopefully, one day we have a world where everyone is accepted for being themselves with no need to conform to the group. Remember, you don't need to wait for the crowd to change. Just start living how you want to live now. Enough said. Then we will have a world that is richer in every way possible because we embrace people's uniqueness and people's different talents and their creativity is allowed to flourish. This is my wish. I hope I am still alive to see a whole world like this. But in the meantime, I am not waiting for it to happen and you shouldn't either. Just make the decision today that you will live your life to the fullest and to the best of your ability. With that said, don't take me seriously. I am not trying to be a leader. I don't know what I'm talking about. I am just having a great time living my life. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned and I will continue to share what I consider to be valuable ideas. And I hope you guys are doing great and make sure to be grateful for everything that you have in your life. Um, and hopefully this year ends up being a great one for you. And if it isn't, continue to grow from every experience that you encounter. All right, guys. Peace.